Have you ever noticed a particularly smart or well-chosen song in a movie or TV show? If so, you are appreciating the work of a music supervisor. I'm Steve Chagolin, and here at Variety today are five top music supervisors to reveal the secrets of their craft. When you tell people, I'm a music supervisor, do they know what that is? <laughs> And my, my parents still ask me what, what, yeah. what that is. You know? <laughs> well, it must be tough when, you, when, when a job is so intricate and it varies from project to project so that there's no blanket answer for that. Well, I think there is an answer. I mean, I think the answer is exactly what Frankie said, is that, you know, you are the music designer mm. of, the, of the project. So whether it's the composer or everything else, it's to know all the different musical languages that can be part of a story, mm -hmm all the financials, the marketing, mm -hmm. different things that will enhance the movie experience or the television experience. I really agree and I also think there's, I think there's a misconception that, that a music supervisor you know, goes through their CD collection and pulls out their favourite tracks and, mm -hmm. and strangely that seems to be part of the mystique of the job because it is a mysterious job in that you're working with a completely intangible element, music, mm -hmm. that everybody has a different emotional response yeah. to. But I think the I think the best supervisors that I know, uh, they're across the song choices, but they're also, they're across every note of the score. Mm -hmm. They're working with the music editor at three in the morning. They're talking to the director. They're advising the producer that there's a clearance problem over mm -hmm. here. It's all the creative on this side. So, you know, boom, taglines mm -hmm. are composers, songs, soundtracks, creative, oh, money, right? Because yeah. mu music supervision is creative and business mm -hmm. marrying together. And, the, and we are responsible for all of those fronts. Yeah, I mean, on Nashville, it's finding the songs, getting them to our actors, getting that to the executive music producer to have that created, getting the playback then to our playback operator who's on set, and our vocal coach and our guitar coach, and all of, all of that is encompassed within the music department. And the music department on this particular show is vast. I mean, we have, I have a prop guy that's just designated directly for me. I have a, you know, an AD that's directly designated yeah. for me that keeps my actor schedule so I know when to schedule recording sessions and things like that. So how quickly do you turn the songs around with, with a, I'm curious, with a weekly series and have so much original music? We just shot our first, like, three days of the very first episode of season three and um, we are already, I'm already looking for songs for episode three and episode four. It's a, it's a huge process yeah. of, of kind of really overseeing every aspect of music, all the way down to playback of, you know, the, the final episode and the mixing of how that music turned out. I mean, especially on a show like Nashville where you want to be able to feel like that crowd that's watching Raina perform is hundreds of thousands of people yeah. when it's really green screened and there might be a hundred extras there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody said Everything to me like, oh, how was your time off? I'm like, I had five days. <laughs> that's how much time I had off between seasons.